Philly's schedule gets very tough down the yeah. stretch. Meanwhile, the team they're sort of fighting it out with, Dallas, despite the fact they're in the same division because Dallas didn't win the division last year, has an easier schedule. Fourth easiest in the NFL. That's what's projected. They are also at nine and a half wins. The Dallas Cowboys schedule is out. They're going to open on the road against the Rams. And uh, they're going to, you know, that's in prime time. That'll be the first Sunday Night Football Week 1, Dallas Rams in L.A. Thanksgiving, that'll be the Redskins. That's going to be the Redskins. Dallas, of course, obviously always plays there. And you see their end of the schedule. There's Cincinnati. There's the Giants there. You know, the Redskins in Week 12, not quite as daunting. J.J., what do you make of Dallas' schedule? It's, it's well dispersed, I think. The, at L.A. to open up uh, the, the, the Stand Canyon, uh, that's going to, there's going to be a lot of pomp and circumstance around that. I'm still going to take the Cowboys there. I really like the Falcons. Danny talked about them earlier. They finished out strong last season. Their record is not indicative of how good of a team that they are. Uh, playing in Seattle is going to be tough. You continue on, and listen, I can see him rattling off three straight against the Browns, against the Giants. The Giants are going to win some games. I know that we're sort of beating up on them right now, and we're looking at the NFC East and saying, hey, you know, it's Philly and it's the Cowboys. The Giants are going to win some games next year. Uh, I, I'm not, I can't say that about Washington, though. Uh, and so I am very interested. It, the, the, the balance of this schedule, again, is very well dispersed, where you got Minnesota, okay, a tough one but then you play Washington Whew. and then you can prepare quickly for Baltimore uh, and so before again the Bengals and then the 49ers right so I think that there's a lot of balance in this schedule for Dallas uh, I like them as a double digit win team I understand it's a new coach it's kind of going against my philosophy on uh, continuity in this COVID world but I'm going with Dallas po uh, more than 10 wins 10 or more because of how much talent there is on this team. Yeah, I, I kind of like Philly as much as I like Dallas, but I like Dallas' schedule a lot better. When I saw Philly's schedule, I went, whoa. I see Dallas' schedule, I'm like, hey, very manageable. What do you see when you look at Dallas' schedule, Danny? EK, I'm going to give you a little glimpse at what players all like to look for, and I think it's important for the Cowboys. They look for who are we starting off against. They look for when's our bye week, and that's what I want to hit on. It's after week 10. It's right at the perfect spot. It's kind of after you've kind of had that grind, you're getting tired, you need sort of a refresh, a refresh button, and they get it at the perfect time to hit the home stretch. Schedule is very manageable. I'm with JJ. I am a mostly fading teams that have new coaches, but I do feel like Mike McCarthy is going to get a team with a ton of veterans and a lot of experience. So it's not like the timing and rhythm of certain routes are going to have to get up to speed. These, you know, Dak Prescott knows his guys pretty well when it comes to Amari Cooper and Ezekiel Elliott. Yes, he'll have to get up to speed with CeeDee Lamb, but I don't think that'll be much of a process. So I think from a scheduling standpoint, this sets up really nicely. You get the back end with the Eagles, and then on the road against the Giants could present some challenges. But I think this schedule sets up nicely, and I am bullish on the Cowboys, much like J.J. I think they could be an 11-5, and five, a 12-4 and four even potential team if they get off to the right start at the beginning, kind of catch some momentum the way they have in seasons past. And I think I said they start uh, on the road against the Rams. It's actually the Chargers. Same colors, same cities, same new stadium, same, stadium. same everything, but it's actually the Chargers, not the Rams. You look at those logos quick as they're flashing through. Uh, it's the Chargers. The logos are now similar uh, with the new logos from both teams. Excellent job, folks. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.